So how did you get involved in this? What was so special about it that made you want to be a part of it? Well, the company started when Ryan and I went to Liberia on a humanitarian trip about 10 years ago and came face to face with the malnutrition crisis. We were touring a refugee camp. We were in their nutrition clinic and we saw dozens of kids who were dying uh, just because they didn't have enough food. And it broke our hearts and we knew in that moment that we had to do something and so we decided to start this company. And, uh, you know, it's eight, ten years later, here we are. Have you gone back since to see it again? We haven't been back to Liberia. Uh, we've been in uh, other areas, you know, we've traveled around Africa and Haiti. Um, but, you know, Ryan and I talk about that a lot. We'd love to go back to that refugee camp in Liberia if it's even still there. Um, you know, hopefully there's no need for it anymore and it's not there, but if it is, I would love to go back and see it because they really were the genesis of the whole idea. Um, we've been able to send food aid back to them, which is great, but uh, I haven't been back to Liberia. You know, they had some they had some troubles in the last few years with Ebola and stuff. and. So it was a little hard to get over there, but soon. Yeah, hopefully soon. Yeah. Where have you gone back since? You said Haiti, you guys went to? We've been to Haiti a, a couple times. Um, I've traveled extensively throughout West Africa, uh, mostly Cote d'Ivoire, um, a little bit in Liberia. And then, uh, you know, our team's been, we, every year we kind of, we like to take the whole team into the field to see the people that they're impacting and the families that we're reaching, uh, just because, you know, it's easy to, well, it's, it's hard to sit in an office in front of a computer and do this work and keep this company going and produce granola bars, but you can lose sight of the mission of the company sometimes. And so it's, we feel like it's really important to get out into the field and, and know, remember, remind everybody what the purpose of the company is. So we take, last year we took the team to Haiti. Uh, we have a nutrition clinic that we support in Haiti called Second Mile Haiti's wonderful place. Um, and we get to go there and meet the mothers and the children who are the kids who are eating the pumpy nut that we send and supply and seeing the looks on the mom's faces and when their kids are getting healthy is just, I, there's nothing like it. It's amazing. What's something that a mother has told you that stood out as like her thank you to you? Um, there's been a number of them and I, I it's, uh, it's moving. I mean, it's really just, it, it generally renders me speechless because it's, Moms, their, moms will just come up to you and say, my child wouldn't be here if it wasn't for this bar saves lives. And, uh, you know, that is awe-inspiring that we get to be able to do that. Um, and that, that happened because people bought our bars and we were able to send food aid overseas. It's really uh, gets me emotional. And then what do you want to say to everyone who's purchased these bars and been supporting you through this? Oh, my gosh. To everyone who's bought our bars, thank you. I, I hope that you're following along on our website and our social media and knowing what a huge impact you're making in the fight against malnutrition because your purchase directly puts food in the mouths of children who otherwise wouldn't have food. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching Muse. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to see all of our upcoming videos.